The close quarters at Tijuana's main migrant camp for the exodus has allowed false rumors to spread like wildfire. Ever since Sunday's march that spiraled out of control at the border, people have been talking about a child who died as a result of the tear gas, but that never happened. There's also talk of the Setas cartel planning an attack against the shelter, even though the Setas don't operate in Tijuana. Some people, like Maria del Carmen Mejia from Honduras, are deciding to go back home because of fears associated with misinformation and the unexpected difficulty of getting into the U.S. I think she's worried that, that President Trump, um, with his policies towards asylum seekers, uh, with the tear gas that was lobbed into the crowd yesterday, that this could mean a danger for her children. She's worried for her children's safety. Mejia says she'd rather have her children die of hunger back in Honduras than die of violent death at the border. The International Organization for Migration has opened up a booth for people who want bus tickets or plane tickets to go back home. As of Monday afternoon, at least 70 had signed up. Jean Guerrero, KPBS News.